next song will be radio. The thing about it is, I'm happy. Me too. You look like a woman. Who? That's like a type of racist shit. And now I'm like it. That's the type of shit you say to me. I don't say racist stuff to you. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, guys! Because then yesterday, I really looked like Dora because it was like my hair wasn't plucked out. Nobody told me. Now it's fucking flying. I'm fucking tired. Remember the Dora the Explorer? Look at your shirt. Dora, 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 the Explorer. I'm so happy for the Explorer. What is going on, guys? Um, it's me, Tiffany. I'm here with my co-host today. Can we say sorry? Yes. And we're back. Anything like this before. 
They really fucking played they with us. Did. But that's alright because I know for next time we still had a great time. Girls trip was just as yeah, fun as the lady for this bitch was falling asleep. I mean what this I had a day full of shit. Out. I work I had an edible and like eight months. Like what do you expect? So then we dropped our friends off the next day. We had to get up, brush and wash power because we were going to my friend slash sister's baby shower that was so, so beautiful. Nice. It was so, 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 so nice. Shout out to Tiffany. Um, and we came home. My best friend cooked dinner for us. Mm. I watched power again. I also tried to watch I mean, it's just been a lot. It's been a like, lot. Day, a bitch was at work drained. I took like three fucking naps. I'm telling you, the day that my boss catch me napping, I don't know what's gonna happen because it don't even be on no like like this, like sitting up like this. Like I be in my chair like that. Drain. And then I wake up and I'm up here drying like, oh my god, I fell asleep. Like it's bad. Yo, it's bad. If I could, that's what I was thinking today. Like, see, this is why. Because I really do want to get a new job, but I'm too comfortable with the job. I'm just like, oh my God, if I get another job, I could never sneak and take these seven minute naps of glory. Like, what would I do? Be tired so, like the rest of us. But I want to give some birthday shout outs. The first shout out I want to give to is my niece Channing. You know, Channing is our miracle baby. I told yes. you guys about her when she was first born. She has the trachea and the, the um, air ventilator hooked up to it. And she's just such a blessing to our family. She turned two years old this past Saturday. Shout out to her. I never look at her like a Leo because she was supposed to be a Virgo. She just does not give me Leo. Now she kind of acts like it a little bit. Now she be acting a little crazy. She had a real stank. She yeah, don't, don't, shy, don't, touch touch don't touch me. Don't touch my head. She be flipping out. But, um, yeah, a little salon. Don't touch my head. And also some good news for her is that she's about to go into like a rehab center. And hopefully... Um, they're about to try to take the breathing machine off so she can start breathing. You know, when her own she's becoming a big girl, she's starting to breathe better. So everybody just keep your fingers crossed. We can use all the prayers in the world. Shout out to my sister and my brother-in-law because yes. they worked so hard to take care of her. Nobody really knows how hard it is to take care of a special needs child until you're in the situation. So I just want to give a shout out to them because my sister and him worked so hard their lives are just so different but it's all worth it um i want to give a shout out to my little sister summer because her birthday was yesterday shout out to her happy she, birthday summer she represents leo season to the fullest yeah. she knows she's a leo she's lying i told y'all how i felt about these goddamn leos don't come into this video i'll talk to y'all uh uh if you would like me no I no see because the thing about it is y'all all have that and I don't even know what the word is, but it's like that. Like, have you ever seen like a, like it's a Lion King? It's like the old Mufasa. Like, he knew he was the motherfucking shit. He got like an air about him when he walked. Like, you can't tell me shit. I am a fucking lion. I don't like it. But, um, this one I wanted to take the time to talk about because I didn't even know it was her birthday. And I feel so bad about it because Tanae didn't tell me until late. It was, what was on Angie's birthday, Friday? Yes. On Angie's birthday was Friday, and not only was it her birthday, it was her 50th birthday. On Angie, I have not been on social media. I've only been posting things. I have not looked at my timeline, of course, because of all the spoilers that came out. But I feel so sad that I did not get the chance, and I didn't know that it was your birthday because I would have did it up to you. I love Aunt Angie so, 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 so many people, well, it's like a handful of people that I really become close with from starting this show, and she was, she's definitely, definitely, definitely one of them. And now that you know, I mean, I still have anxiety, but it's milder, and I definitely can drive more. We definitely have to hook up soon, meet up at the Waffle House, and have some breakfast together because I just love and I miss her so much. On oh, Angie, I hope that you had a great birthday you are such a sweet person a good really person is. i just i love you so much i love watching her talk to her daughter and i love the relationship that her, her daughter had i love how much she travels she's just and she's just so damn you know she's not like a 50 year old that already ain't old and shit like she's i love you so much Aunt angie and i hope you had a great birthday and i'm so sorry that i didn't get to tell you on your actual birthday y'all make sure y'all shout on angie out and tell her i'm happy birthday 
But um, I think that's all that happened this weekend. Um, I did want to talk about a couple of things. We don't have a lot of topics, but I wanted to Naya to talk about um, what happened um, that was very disturbing over this weekend because once again, see, I really don't be watching the news like that because I either be asleep or I be watching something else. I usually get all of my news from like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, but I hadn't been on it, so I had no idea about this Charlottesville thing. I had, y'all, and today I want to send them to me. I mean, I didn't, the day of, I didn't even know. I was like, what the fuck happened? So yeah, I wanted her to talk about that because I saw it on the news this morning and it was just very, very disturbing. So basically, um, this past Saturday, I think? Saturday or Sunday, there was a protest or like a walk um, in Charlotte's, what is it, Charlottesville? Yes. Yes. Because I keep on saying uh, another place. In Charlottesville, Virginia. So basically, a group of white supremacists and, like, people who love, like, Hitler and Nazis and, But they you know, KKK? I mean, they didn't define themselves as KKK, but you can just say, like, KKK type of movement. Basically, uh, happened this past weekend, and the it, see the thing about it is shit like that don't even surprise me, honestly and truly. Like where we at right now, shit like that doesn't surprise me. What is surprising though, if you notice at every Black Lives Matter march or protest, you know y'all call the fucking police. The all the goddamn uh, firemen from different states that come together. Y'all will fuck around and get the National Guard. The fucking National Guard was here for that for the Freddie Fred, 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 Gray riot. Like, and you have literally grown ass white men walking around with fucking tiki torches and all types of shit, yelling and screaming all. Racism is evil. 
evil. Bitch, you're evil. Like, we know that. Tell us something that we don't know. And it's just like, y'all wanted so, like, last year, I can't, I can't exactly remember what the issue was, but it was like with the, uh, with like these, uh, like Muslim or, or Arabic people, and y'all wanted Obama to call them terrorists so bad, but he wouldn't. And it's just like, y'all, it's just like everybody grew up in flames. Nobody is saying shit. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, the fucking president that we have is fucking disgusting. I know that he did. The only reason that he came out and said something is because
this is not Charlottesville. So she said, I noted, I stand corrected by Christy and a few other people, and I love it. Love the clarity, love the strength, love to Charlottesville. But what I'm saying is, bitch, I hope that on the rest of your timeline that you were speaking out on how these people were doing the wrong fucking thing. Since you want to be mad that we categorize Charlottesville as, you know, trash at the fucking moment because y'all trashed Baltimore when shit was going down. Y'all trashed wherever Michigan. Um, yeah, and where Mike Brown was like every place that something's happened at, oh, it's a bad area. Bad area. Oh, the oh, and No, no, no. So, um, I just hope that, you know, I, I sadly I don't think that anything's gonna happen, but I just well I don't know how to put it because you know that most of these stories on the internet are not real. Right. But I did read something about the guy who got arrested. Mm -hmm. His, he can't afford a lawyer. He has a public defender, and the public defender is a related to one of the victims that he hit. So I hope his white ass rocks in jail. Yeah, and then they came out and said that he has like a violent history. He slapped his mother before. He spit on people. Well, you know what they also brought up? He, his, his medical records. He has skin, he has schizophrenia. I
when um, my day who made it known to us that she watches It's Rocks, I'm like, she like, yeah, because my girl Roxanne said that the power of who's like, my who's Roxanne? She was like, It's Rocks. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, I knew she watched the Scorpion show, but yeah, so. But it's nothing wrong with that. Shout out to It's Rocks. I know a lot of people. Yeah, it's just like, girl, what are you doing? Right, we actually met It's Rocks, but I wouldn't watch her video when she talked about it. And she was just saying that she literally woke up and it was several people in her DMs that had gave her the link in the article, the, the article, the title literally said everything that happened. And the schools, and she was just like, I had to think to because now she different from me today. And she said, I had to think to myself. She's like, instantly I was about to report everybody in Block of Miss Fam. She said, then I thought to myself, she said, rocks. It's just a TV show, and these motherfuckers don't know you like that. They don't know that how you feel about sports. She said, because it's one thing if it's reality TV. That's one thing. She said, but this is something that I've invested myself in for the my past time. years, and I want to see how it's going to be. She was like, now, you can come to me and tell me that some spoilers leak, because that's what people did to me. Y'all were smart. But she was like, so I didn't block me. She was like, so I'm just letting y'all know now for the future. Never do that shit again. It's just so fucking rude. Oh my God. People are, tra it's frustrating. Like I said, I have not been on social media for the fear of it happening. And I was going to go on there yesterday, but I was like, because a new episode came out, people might be like, oh, I already know what's going to happen in the next two episodes anyway. Like, I just didn't want right. to see that shit. But best believe, me and today watched probably yesterday and we were fucking surprised because we didn't see shit. Yeah, I'm not about that. And even when I was pulled to snap found out she still don't know how this shit happened. Right. So it is. I'm still hoping it's not true. So I'm not have anything to say about how I did earlier. I did um I did say something about um Lauren Lorenz Tate. It was something else. Damn that we had noticed. I can't remember. I did see the next episode. He's supposed to be fucking talking to the reporter, and um, he was saying something about trust. And the camera went to Lorenz Tate again, so I was like, "Oh shit!" But somebody else has said something. I can't remember, but of course, you know, we always say extra shit about power. Power was amazing as usual. Like I said, don't forget next week I'll be putting out two videos. I'll actually put out a video of our reactions. I won't record. I'm gonna record the whole thing, but I'm gonna take some out, I'll just give like a couple of pieces and then we'll actually do the review. I want to give a shout out to everybody that watched our power review because it did go up late because me and Tanea were very busy. We did not get done recording until 8.30. It takes an hour for it to upload, then it takes an hour for it to process. So just shout out to everybody who was patient and watched that. I wanted to give a shout out to Shonda Rhimes because Shonda Rhimes has landed a deal with Netflix. Mm -hmm. Now this is fucking major because they straight off the bat offered her millions. So Shonda Rhimes will never put another television show on like ABC or anything. Everything that she makes from now on will go straight, straight to Netflix. Netflix. And so many people trust in Shonda now. I said this early on Twitter, shout out to Candace, because Candace is like, uh-uh, if I get scripted on one of them shows, so I, I'm not watching no more Shonda Rhimes shows. I'm at the TGIT, I can't do it, because Shonda plays with your emotions. I'm emotionally all fucked up. I'm unstable because of scandal, and I don't know how things are going to end. Like, if this bitch does not end us on a good note with Olet, I don't know what I might do. Like, I don't know if I'm a snack. I don't know if I'm going to end up in L.A. at Sunset Gower. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. So it's like, but I am excited for Shauna because of course she's a black woman. She makes right. great TV. Um, I do know that because this is scandal last year. They're staying on their Grey's Anatomy is staying in How to Get Away with Murder, but anything else that she can take on in. I'm actually kind of jealous because it's like if we could have got it a little sooner and scandal would have went to Netflix. Do y'all know what kind of sex scenes we would have Can y'all imagine if Do you know what type of binge Tiffany would have went on? Like, no. Thank you, Lloyd. It, it seems like I don't like it naked, but I've seen more than enough for her. That's enough. That's enough. Okay? That's enough. Y'all got Viola Davis on how to get away with murder. Fucking white men. Fucking white bitches. Fucking black man. No. 
I don't need any more. And granted, that people really don't go too crazy with the sex scenes. I mean, you know that they. I mean, they had sex, the but, shit, so it's like you know they had sex with everybody gets pregnant. But right. It's like, but I'm really excited for Shonda Rhimes, but I will not be watching. But I am excited for you, Shonda. Shout out to Shonda Land. But um, Woo! I think that's all that we had to talk about. Of course, we'll be back on Thursday with another video. Don't forget to send your. Excuse me. Don't forget to send y'all what would y'all do. Bitch. <laughs> mm. Don't forget to send y'all what would y'all do uh, questions. We actually did two this past Thursday, depending on. What would I do? We actually did two on Thursday. Depending on how many topics we had, we'll do one to two of them every week. And we really enjoy them, and it seems like you guys really enjoy them. And I also wanted to say, you know, that Tanea is your favorite. Um, I really don't know what I have to do to get her to these comments someday. She did try Friday because I said something to her. No, I was actually already on it because you said something. She did try Friday, but it's like she be picking and choosing. But a lot of people, like on last night's video, they was like, yes, hair. Oh my God, vocals. Like, what did I say last Somebody was like, they want to see more singing. Oh. So yeah, but we met Uncle El was talking about it, and we was just like, and I'm glad that came to the conclusion. And you know what? That was sign number three. Tamika was listening to a podcast today, and it said, you cannot ask God to grant you all of these things when you are not using what he gave you. Yeah. And we talked about it in the car. Tanea can sing. Tanea can cook. Tanea can do hair. Tanea will not use any of these and make money off of them and try to blow up. Like, she want to do everything but the things that she can fucking do. God bless her for so many things. I wish I was a talented hoe. This bitch is talented and she's not using her I gifts. Talented hoe. She's not using her gifts. God, she's not using them. Why so, be so I was talking to God. God. So, the thing is, is that I really feel like God is not going to take Tanette to the next level until she uses what she got. Man, that is a word. Just look at him. Working through you. You know I love God. Yeah. So when you want to start singing? Huh? When you want to start singing? Right now, Tanette, I sing every day. <laughs> Diana 
Ross and Shaka Khan. If you can match them up, that's me. It is late and they ain't gonna stop talking to 